today we will be learning to sketch a skull. Very similar to the way Leonardo da Vinci did, except he used real skulls. Obviously, I can't give you real skulls, so I have photocopies. We want to be able to sketch them, not draw what they you think they are. Let me show you what I mean. If I were looking at this skeleton and I drew what I think I saw, I would probably draw a head and then I would, the jaw looks like this, then I know it's got two eyes and a nose, and then it's got teeth. Here. There. That's what my mind thinks it looks like, but that's not what this really is. So you have to look half the time at the picture and half the time at your paper while you draw. A better example of sketching would be using light lines. I'm going to do it a little bit darker, but I don't want you to go dark. And capture the, the shapes first, just the shapes for the layout. It's like building a puzzle. So I'm looking at my, and I see that it comes out here, and here. Now I may be wrong, but at least I can at least try and capture the basic shape of the skull. And then I can go back later and redo my lines or restate my lines. This part I've drawn, I'm going to attach on the mandible. This is the mandible. If I don't like the lines that I do, I can go back and go over them. I don't even need to erase this time. I'll pick which one I want to erase when it comes to that time. Now let's pick where we think that the eyes should go in. Here are the eyes. Kind of up on like an angle a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm going to put these up on an angle a little bit. The approximate size, all we want is approximates now. This one goes up, almost touches. And then the nose seems to come down equally on both sides from the eyes. And it's a little bit crooked too. And then the teeth, don't even bother worrying about the teeth yet. You can just put a few of them in just to get an idea. This guy's got big front teeth. And they go all the way to here and stop. And then they go here and stop. That's the front teeth, upper jaw. And then the lower jaw is right here. And then I have to drop down this a little bit. Okay. So basically, that's a better drawn skull. I can see where this is wrong compared to the drawing, so I need to lift it back up a little bit. Just go over the lines. Okay, now that is a basic sketch. You just put things where you think they should be and check for the size. After you've checked for the size, then you get your eraser and figure out which lines are the best and then you erase out. Now see, I'm going to see little ghost lines with mine because I drew really heavy, but that's so that everybody can see it on the iPad while it's being filmed. And then you pick the lines that you want and then your work doesn't look as liney. I think the jaw goes in like this now. Here's where you're perfecting your lines. And this one goes up a little bit too, a little more. All right, now my lines look better and not as sketchy, so then I start putting in details, like the shape of the eye could be fixed a little bit. There's a bone that goes over here and comes up. There's a slight bone right there. There's a line that goes up here. I'm looking carefully at my picture now, even more so. There's a, DV there's a septum in there. So I got to put that in. I can't see inside this eye, but I can see that it comes and goes up like this. 
and there's a little shadow in there and I think my nose needs to go over a little bit more and then now is the time when I can start putting in my teeth drawing very carefully and erasing out any lines that I don't need so there is my teeth drawn in with the shadows and then I tilt my pencil on the side and then I can color in where the nose is leaving that little line in the middle and do the same with the eyes on the side of the lead. See how my pencil's on the side? Now I filled in my dark areas, but I noticed that some places like this are in shadow, and that shadow makes the bone show up more. So again, I put the shadow in by the side of the pencil lead, and then I go around every line and rub in a little bit of that shadow or value around every line that I've done. This will help give it more dimension and more looking like 3D. Here's some teeth up in his jaw I can see. Everywhere around here we've got a little bit of shadow. I'm comparing it to what I see on here and then drawing the line around the edge of the lines, that, the contour lines that I put in. And if what helps even more is rubbing that line. I'll show you how in a minute. Notice I'm putting it in really lightly. And then and the last thing you do is once you've got your shadows in there, the graphite's a little bit smudgy. You can see where I got a little smudge on my finger. You just rub it. Don't rub it all over the whole thing because some places need to be left white. But this will add just a little more dimension and blend your work just a little bit more. The pencils you're working with are very good for this. And then sign your name and date it. I'm just going to call this the 12th for 2012. And then we're going to put it on black paper and name tag it. If, for example, you've colored in too much, then you can take some out too with an eraser. You can erase out the parts that you think should be lighter. Gently wipe it off and there you have a big white mark so just rub the edges a little bit and it blends it right back in. And Then it looks more natural like that. So you can lift off as well as place on.